thank you for taking time out of your very busy schedule to take us behind hospital doors into the scrub bays of Westmead Hospital's operating theatres. How many times a year would you say that you have to scrub into an operation here at Westmead Hospital? Um, I think if you include all the elective operations and the emergency operations, it's several hundred times a year, I think. Yeah, it's so um, difficult to keep count, that kind yeah. of thing. So if you add that up, probably a couple of days of the year you're spent at the scrub base and getting ready. Yeah. Um, yeah, I've never thought about it that way, but I think if you yeah, added it up, it probably would be at least that um, in, in a year. A critical part of any operation, we've known for hundreds of years that basically um, a surgical scrub is one of the components for safe surgery. Even if we've got a patient that needs life-saving surgery, the surgical scrub can't be omitted. And can you run us through the process of scrubbing in? Sure, yeah. So normally like before an operation, so normally we'd have, you know, obviously you can see in theatre gear and, and the like, but um, then once uh, we start, we we'll to put on the mask before. You can see we have a scrub brush, um, which has a little nail cleaner as well. Normally we'd start. Turn on the water, let it run, it's good now. These taps, temperature is a bit better and then icy cold. And normally I'd give, give my arms a wet here like that. Then you can turn off the water to save water. Normally I'd be cleaning my nails of any obvious debris. After that initial um, nail clean, usually then concentrate on with a solution, cleaning again from the um, hands and making sure that again you clean each individual uh, finger. So it's just a bit harsh, you can see the scrub brush on both sides, one is mainly for the nails and the like, the other side's a bit softer, but again it's making sure that you clean the hands thoroughly. So then after, sort of with the brush, basically come up the arm, up to the elbows in a circular fashion. Well, I think like for the surgical scrub, the main thing is making sure that you clean the nails properly because it's it's actually pretty easy, even though you know everybody who's a surgeon or works in the operating theater keeps their nails really short. Um, it's amazing how much stuff you can get underneath the nails. And so making sure that you get into that. Yeah, I guess the other area is to make sure that you get right down into the hand, into the uh, for the fingers, um, for that, and I think really it's a matter of making sure that you know you're covered all the way down to the down to the elbows. You can see that as you're rinsing it off, you're going from the hands, so the water is dripping off down past the elbow. So that's probably the end of the surgical scrub that I do. And again, it's making sure, it's, and it's really in the beginning. It's interesting because what you don't want to do is keep your hands too close to your body. You don't want it too far away. You don't want it too high. You don't want it too low. So you got to keep it and make sure that the that the water is dripping off down past the elbows, and then you can go and uh, put the gown on after you dried your hands.